This is a movie on rhombic structures we're doing an article on and we can build rhombic structures from a square template with golden ratio segments square here, square here, square here. These build golden ratio diamonds and if we were to fold these units up we would end up with tetrahedral units that's here which that means to fuller calls quanta they're particles of energy or particles of light here we have a fractal series of them where the short length here becomes the long length for the fractally smaller one when you link these together they fit inside here and become the face and the volumetric area within the trichondahedron. We can link these golden diamonds together to create a fractal series of golden rhombohedra, prolate and oblate. Here we've got three of them linked together and over here we can link different rhombic structures together which become a rhombic trichondohedron. Here we have 20 rhombohedra which make the hexicontahedron or the rhombic hexicontahedron and framed inside the pentadodecahedron. Over here we have a two frequency version of a rhombic hexicontahedron. And here we have the hexicontahedron and inside here and surrounding it we have the first stellation of the trichondohedron called a dystiochus trichondohedron. Here's the diamond face and on the diamond face are to make the dystiochus expand from the trichondohedron we put on the quanta tetrahedrons. Here we can see if we're starting from the rhombic hexicontahedron. To get to the dystiochus we need a, a 480 of these smaller volumetric particles of energy or quanta or light. Moving on over here we have three structures which are 3D snapshots of the unfolding 4D 120 cell and within the membrane of the 120 the stellated 120 cell we can see inside there is a rhombic hexicontahedron same here we have membrane shells of the 120 cell and within it we have the rhombic trichondohedron. Same over here. Rhombic trichondohedron inside a membrane shell of the 120 cell. We can take the golden rhombohedra here and slice it and we end up with golden octahedra. We can combine them in a number of ways. We can create a, a larger golden diamond here and form larger versions of this with this diamond. Here we have a, a pyramidal structure which could be all space filling with the tetras and the golden octahedra. We can combine it in a larger form to create the shape of a dodecahedron 
just with the golden octahedrons. Moving on, we've got more structures here. We'll start with this one in the realm now of photonic crystals. This is a quasi photonic crystal structure. It's becoming the preferred shape to store light and channel and distribute light. Here built on the surface we see once again the smaller tetrahedral units which when popped on the surface of the tricondahedron define the distiochus tricondahedron. This is beginning to model the larger scenarios like the uh, solar entity or the sun. The diamond itself is called the eye of Ra and to enter the sun the light body or the light being of the sun is to connect to our higher self. This is also the structure of orbs of light and fast becoming the preferred shape for the light body structure itself, our auric field. Many more structures here the rhombic hexicontahedron. We can look inside that and that becomes an icosidodecahedron. Here we can see the fractal nature of the rhombic hexicontahedron, a smaller rhombic hexicontahedron inside the triconhedron, just one of twelve that will fit around this hub. Here we've got the light bodies around the the higher self hub, and we can form other structures. Here we have a, a ten ring of ten rhombic hexicontahedrons. Here we have another ring, this time five rhombic triconters and five rhombic hexicontahedra. We could get twelve of those and make a big dodecahedra. Here we've got another truncated rhombic triconter. There's enough room for twelve of them around the hexicontahedron. The hexicontahedron ends up being the hub in most of these modelings. Here we've got a helix and this may be the structure of the light electric universe filaments plasma cosmologists are finding that are linking up galaxies star systems. Just look at this one slightly different one now this is just modelling how we can use golden structures in buildings. Here's a decagon in the middle. Looks like a tent or a circus uh, structure. And then around it there are five spiraling smaller units which you could use in stalls in a market or so forth. This is modeling the galaxy from a planned view looking down on the Milky Way. That's basically what you'd see. Here's the central sun, as it were, and the spirally arms. Same structure, fractally small. Over here another way of linking the golden octahedra with great stellated dodecahedron just snugly fits in there. So we can use these structures to create all sorts of amazing uh, superstructures. Here we've got Combining the hexi-contahedra with the tri we end up with a larger fractal golden rhombohedra. We could link 20 of these together and we'd have a, a, um, 
another rhombic hexicondahedron. So there's infinite variety and infinite fractal self embedding in these structures. Here's another view. We've got the hexicondahedron here, and we've got enough space for 12 trichondes around there, but with, of course within the, uh, the trichondra itself we can pack more, another smaller fractal series. We'll have a look at that in a minute. The beauty of this one is that you can hold this up and you'll see that actually what it is, is that it's sitting inside a larger trichondahedron. This is a four frequency outer shell with a single frequency group of 12 trichondahedra in the middle. Here you've got your 144 often spoken about in the spiritual phraseology of how soul groups manifest within the higher self as a 44 unit group. Expanding on this we just have some other versions of the four frequency trichondahedron. See the hub in there with the other golden ratio unit cells surrounding it. For those that are into theosophy we're looking at the monadic plane modeling here, the monad. And another version, the final version here where we can see once again how the fractal nesting of hexicondahedron with 12, enough room in there for 12 trichondas, which would snugly fit into trichondahedron around a larger hexicondahedron hub. There's a unit here for 144 light bodies surrounding to make a full higher self, a full monad. An eye there, ready to cluster with other eye there clusters.